If we lay a grid over the galaxy, we can locate some of the stars, nebula, and H2 regions we have seen in this chapter. Actually, all the local neighborhood stars would fit into the red circle I used to locate our solar system. That would be stars like Wolf 359, Altair, Vega, Polaris, Capella, Aldebaran, the Pleiades, and Betelgeuse. They are all with us in the Orion Spur, as is the Orion, Horsehead, Cone, Witch's Head, Veil, and many other nebula. In Sagittarius, we see the Jewel Box Star Cluster, and the Trifid, Omega, Lagoon, Eagle, and Cat's Paw Nebulas, among others. In Perseus, we see the Rosetta, Heart and Soul Nebulas, as well as the Crab Supernova, to name just a few. In fact, except for the hypervelocity stars and a few of the supernova remnants, everything we have seen in this chapter is within this red circle. As vast an area as we have covered, it is only a fraction of the Milky Way galaxy. Another point that ought to be covered is that we cannot see through the galactic core into the other side. The core is simply too dense with stars and gas and dust to penetrate. So this slice of the disk has not been seen or analyzed. But our understanding of spiral galaxies is that they are symmetric. So this picture makes that assumption and fills in the blanks accordingly. Here we see the sun's orbit around the galactic center. Our orbital speed is approximately 230 kilometers per second, or 143 miles per second. That's fast but it takes us around 213 million years to complete one orbit around the galactic center. The last time we were in the same place in our orbit, dinosaurs were just starting to appear on the Earth. And we have traveled around one ten thousandths of a revolution since the origin of humans. Here's a look at our solar system's ecliptic plane with respect to the galactic plane. It's just over 60 degrees off. We see that the solar system is quite out of alignment with the galaxy's disk. Earth's 23 degree tilt to the solar plane puts us at an almost 63 degree tilt from the galactic plane. This is why the Milky Way appears at such a strange angle across the night sky. Also, as the Sun orbits the galaxy, it oscillates up and down relative to the plane of the galaxy. It does this approximately 2.7 times each time around. Astronomers estimate that we are currently at around 75 to 100 light years above the galactic plane and moving down. This estimate has us crossing the plane again in approximately 30 million years.